okay now we're gonna use this option cluster advanced builder okay so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a stone outside let's see a heart a heart is fine right okay so select this one and uh, get the profile curve select the gem put inside and then right click then you have this curve you don't need to edit them you just need to press right click then you have them outside okay now let's say you need, you want to set one mm stone outside this ring or outside this diamond for example you need to offset 0.5 mm all right or let's say 0 0.6 the reason 0 0.6 is because there will be a gap between the stone and the the smaller stone about 0 0.1 all right so 0 0.6 enter okay and then uh, we'll use this option okay that's it you just need to uh, uh, okay I did uh, I didn't explain you this when you offset this one okay when you offset this one this curve you have to make sure the corners are sharp okay I'll do the opposite again <coughs> you see these are rounded so when I get the result it's rounded so I have to get them sharp okay now uh, 0.5 I'm gonna get the stones on it cluster builder just need to click on it and then I have this option corner on okay yeah. so have this option okay, okay. all right and then you can you know mm -hmm. play with this sizes over here okay, okay. that's it I think using this could be better if you try to do the uh, all right escape delete this one I don't need this anymore rebuild it I, I know I like this rebuild come on explode you see there's so many uninterpreted you know they're disturbed there has to be one so I'll join them join this part select this to rebuild so I am sure I'm gonna get a very good result now join them together you see the option you see rebuild okay you see beautiful that's it you don't need to do anything you just need to fix the sizes you want okay undo again you know if I need to play with the sizes you can play with the sizes all right that's it it's ready you don't have to do anything else finito now you can put the wires settings one by one no you can use this option them inside you see prong adders okay and then you have this option you have really good prongs but if you want them like this a basket I'm doing what you're gonna do uh then we have to do the cluster way the other way which we have which we cannot do in this advanced cluster way it just you can just be able to fix the stones in this option you won't be able to set the prongs. The wires like this, and you can? No. And that's what's what. Alright, so get them inside this box. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what you have to do is. you have to make them bigger longer yeah longer not bigger sorry mm -hmm. you 
can see. Okay, and then. Uh, exactly. Yeah, you yeah. have the idea now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you have to use it. <laughs> no, no, no. I just, you know, like when I'm with you, I just get the idea right now, with like you. Mm hmm. All right. I never so. thought about it. Okay. Yeah. So that's it. For example, you have this bronze, all right? This the longer bronze. Ones. Yeah. Now I'm going to use. Outside. You don't need the inside. Yeah. You can delete them. You can ungroup them and just. Uh, exactly. Scale them. Yes. Okay. Now, uh -huh. I'll show you a very good uh, idea or the way to do it. Select F6, you can create under bezel for this one. Mm -hmm. You can use this option. The last one. Last, yes. Wait, bring the rest. Under bezel. Put this one in there. Hmm? It's already there inside. That's why it's in there. In the under bezel. Yeah. yeah now it's, now it opens. Mm hmm You know, bigger like. Why you need that strong? Because the stone is too big. You see, huh? the inside stone is too big. The center stone. Yeah. Is big. That's why. Yeah, but we don't need to do the cluster. This the cluster. You just. Yeah, we can. Yeah, numbers. yeah. You can cut this one, but this you have to do it. I'll show you the okay. way. All right. You know this option, huh? It's I. Match attributes. Mm -hmm. And select that and all of them they get the... Uh-huh, that's all. Push. Don't take time because... It's too big the paper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You have this like this now. Now, as you said, you need 2 mm, right? Yes. So, change the color. Make a line. Move it 2 mm. For example, 1.5. 2 mm seems too big. Right now, this is where your stone ends. So I'll make a curve from here. Move it out. Offset it down. One mm. Okay. And then I'll close this. Okay, the curve boolean option, where is it? The curve boolean. Yeah. All. Enter. Okay. Now. Before I do anything, I'll select this all. Unselect. And I'm gonna nicely use this command. right so you can mm -hmm. ah, I know why you made the bezels long like that yeah so you can take the bottom part too with it smart boy <laughs> you gotta be smarter you know Arun 
<laughs> That's why you are here again. <laughs> It's knitting. <laughs> okay. So. Creating mesh. Offset this one too. So. Alright, this one is already good, no problem. So, you can uh, trim them or you can boolean them, okay, together. Mm -hmm. Let's boolean this. The editor, yep, mm -hmm. yeah, shift, yes, okay. We have it like this. Now, uh, I'll, the inside one, I'll trim them again. I'll uh, cut the, cut them again. Now, select by color. Okay. Mm, union difference, boolean difference. The reason I'm doing only with this is I want to check if it's gonna cut upside or the downside. So if it's cuts the upside, I'm gonna flip it. So I'm, yeah. Hmm. You see, yeah. it's cutting down. Mm -hmm. That's what we need. Yeah. Okay. So undo. Yeah, undo. Wireframe. Okay. Select this all. Select this all. use this one okay and then ah uh, I didn't select it properly okay yeah no problem select this all again and difference with this one oh uh, so what I'll do with this remaining one is I'll trim them yeah trim it okay Okay, and then I'm gonna cap it. Control A C A P. So, whoever is uncapped, they're gonna wear the cap. Right? And now I can select individually all of this prongs so I can reduce their height. Correct? Yeah. Could have done from the beginning, but uh, yeah. 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 So this is how it's gonna look. Yeah. You can do that, huh? Later on. Shape. Yeah, but this one now we need to curve it, right? Mm hmm. This part we need to curve yeah. it, on, right? Yeah. You understood the whole idea? You like you can do this before you get the line, outer line, okay? Yeah. And then instead of you know using that collet, you can extrude that shape wow beautiful that's a nice piece <laughs> yeah even like that it will look nice yeah with the wires yeah yeah out. yeah it's all yeah look like a cage but exactly you know, you the exactly all right yeah what is the cheapest magnetic tumble uh,